Hi, I'm Max uh, from InstaRestoration.com, um, your online photo restoration service. And um, when it comes to restoring photos, one of the most important um, aspects of it is that your scan is a proper scan, that it has enough detail, that it has all colors available. And so today we're going to create a short tutorial where I show you how to scan your photographs. Um, first, before actually scanning your photographs, take a look at your scanner and your photos. Um, if your scanner, the, the, the glass surface is dirty, um, clean it with some cloth and some glass cleaner. And if your photographs have too many um, particles or dust on them, try to blow it away or use a very um, soft brush to stroke them off. Um, never use any liquids on your photographs, that's going to destroy them eventually, maybe it takes a week or two, maybe a year, but you're definitely going to see the, the impact of the chemical on your photograph. Um, so only work with air or um, a very, very soft brush. So um, what you do in Windows 10 is that you click down here on the left hand side on the Windows icon. And then type in scanner, and then you see this thing popping up, Windows Fax and Scanner. Click here, and then this window pops up. Um, you simply click up here, New Scan, select your scanner. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a Epson scanner or a Kodak scanner or a HP scanner or whatsoever. Um, you can use any manufacturer. Um, this is a Windows built-in software, so simply select the scanner you're using and press OK. Um, make sure that your scanner is already switched on, otherwise this doesn't work. Um, so first turn on your scanner, then open up the application. And then click OK. And then we got this little window popping up. Um, what's important, use photo. Use color. No matter if your photograph is a black and white photograph or a color photograph, always use color. Um, file type, uh, use JPEG. And then the resolution, use at least 300 dpi, um, because that's determining how detailed your scan is going to be. So with 300 dpi, you can create a one-to-one -one copy. With 600 dpi, you can blow it up to twice the size, but that's pretty much it you can do. Um, so leave it around 300 or 600 dpi. And um, then click on preview. Then our scanner is going to take short um, preview of the image we put in. Take a look if everything is set up right, if it's centered okay, if everything is um, being scanned. Then you see, um, Turn off this uh, check here, and then you can adjust your frame to your photograph like this. Take a little bit more than the actual photograph has, um, and then press scan. So now our scanner is doing the actual scan of the photograph um, with 300 dpi and JPEG. Um, that's going to take a while. Afterwards, here we go, there is our photograph. Um, in here, you click on your photograph, click on the um, right mouse click, and say save as. And then you can put it up on your desktop or to any other specific um, folder and name it. So name it properly, um, otherwise you're never going to find your image again. So this is on... Mary, and I'm going to save it to the desktop. So as you see, there it is, on Mary on the desktop. Um, as you see, it's flipped. What we can do now is right mouse click again, and then it says rotate right and rotate left. This one we have to take uh, rotate right. There we go, and there is Aunt Mary flipped. And all right, so now the image is ready to be uploaded to our page and we can restore it for you. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope I could help you with um, scanning your photographs.